It's funny how Nintendo continues to try to claim that Pokemon Let's Go. Uh, core titles. This is what I mean that Pokemon Gen 8 is basically screwed. People won't listen to me, of course, and be blindly hyped for a game that doesn't even have a title yet. But they're also blind. These are the same people who are blindly hyped for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee before they even got a title. I don't get excited for games that don't have titles or footage or gameplay until you actually see the game. This is what the Nintendo, this is what Masuda said. These games are not spin offs, these are core Pokemon titles. As for where we will make other games that connect to Pokemon Go, that will depend on how the games are received. I heard a lot of people are that they enjoyed of being able to bring back the Pokemon Pokemon Go. Yeah, only then one Pokemon that is. Then we'll think about having future tales be able to connect to it, which includes Gen 8. Yes, people, of course, will ignore this and say, oh, it's just Nintendo the saying the same old, same old thing. And basically, all and of course, people are saying that, oh, you'll get Meltan. The most creative Pokemon in history. Um, and there's, of course, the Pokemon Go things that says, whoa, at Go haters. But the Go haters are actually the real fans. They don't want Pokemon to become already casual as it is. I, start, I decided to stop buying Pokemon after Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon once Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were announced, okay? This is how bad Nintendo, this is how well Nintendo has gotten. They're saying the same thing they've been saying for a long, long time. Of course, Nintendo fans are making fun of people who make fun of Meltan. Ugh. Yeah, because we really want no original ideas. Grandma Muck, there are no original piles of blobs, okay? They're more original than Meltan. Meltan is really freaking ditto. Combined with a freaking nut. What kind of idea was this? Meltan could be made, or could be drawn within a minute. That's how easy it is to draw Meltan. Meltan is the most ugliest Pokemon in history. Um. There's what someone said. F no, I can't, or can't get Meltan Melmetal because of Pokemon Go. The two get Pokemon that are scamming you. And trying to force you to play Pokemon Go. Meltan is a Pokemon that tries to force you to play Pokemon Go. This guy is completely right. Sunny go to either Masuda does not know what he's talking about or I'm worried about Gen 8. You should be worried about Gen 8. And of course people say, no, it's not a cool game. Ooh. But the game has basically loot boxes. It's 60 is like eight hours for the deluxe balls and the so-called master trainers that would prove the game. They're not even Pokemon Masters anymore. They had to change the name because they really want to screw over Pokemon as a whole. They had to freaking change it to Master Trainer. Um Federal like Federation Force was mad because it doesn't have millions of people. Pokemon Pokemon fan, I'm still surprised it sold 3 million copies at once. But the fact that now they know that Pokemon and Masuda and all the people who make Pokemon know that people want this. You guys forward with your money. I decided to for my money and not get this game. Not get the game because it has freaking Meltan in it. The most useless, poorly designed Pokemon in all of history. People think Muck is on the original. No. <laughs> Look at freaking Meltan, okay? It doesn't even look like it belongs in Pokemon. Like, Muck evolved. Like, here's the thing of Muck and Garboda. Muck and Garboda are supposed to represent the trash of Pokemon world. Meltan? What the fuck does Meltan represent? Nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. Meltan represents the death of Pokemon. Pokemon is getting so lazy and unoriginal with the designs. Like, it makes Gen 7 look like God. Came down to Earth and, and no, Meltan makes freaking Popio look like. Okay, what, what, what was that one Pokemon? Um, okay, I think. Oh, yeah, it makes freaking Popio look like Arceus in comparison. Yes, 
I said it there. Meltan makes freaking Popio one of the most hated Pokemon in all of history. It looks like freaking Arceus in comparison. No one likes Meltan. Unless you're a collector who invites every single Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go. No one say, yeah, we want Meltan, Melmetal. Two of the most hideous Pokemon ever made, especially Malmetal. Nobody likes these Pokemon. Except for PokeTubers, that is. And people like Noggin, Pokemon, or Guardian, and... Every other PokeTuber literally on the face of the earth. Pokemon is a dead franchise. And this can be parallel for the, with Star Wars. Pokemon, let's go. Broke records. The Force Awakens broke records. But both franchises will have a previous, preceding, succeeding game that will likely sell even worse. In the previous games. And we all know the first new Pokemon in the next generation. Are Meltan and Melmetal. The, the symbols of a dying franchise. The fact that Nintendo will still say they're not spin-offs. And the fact that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Are the worst Pokemon games in history. That is not a spin-off. They're even worse. Yes, yeah, so they're even worse. No, 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 the the third worst Pokemon games ever made. The only game surpassing it are those crappy Pokemon Channel is that crappy Pokemon Channel game, and of course yours truly, Pokemon Mystery Dozen Gates to Infinity, and how that game ruled Pokemon Mystery Dozen as a whole. Those are the only two games I can think of from the top of my head that are even worse. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. That's right. I went that far. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are not core games. And they have Pokemon Go catching mechanics. This is not... Pokemon is no longer, has no longer been core, a core game, since Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Now Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is casual trash. And now, thanks to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee... This is why people always make for people who like Pokemon. It's because Nintendo and Game Freak thought it's a good idea to add freaking motion controls and freaking mobile game cons- like character graphics and mobile game like microtransactions to get a freaking power of swords in the freaking game. I saw the wild people Meltan and they were like, that's a Pokemon? And yes. People hate Meltan. Nobody likes this Pokemon. Nobody wants this Pokemon besides PokeTubers and Coactors. People who want to complete the Pokedex, I mean. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee took a million steps backwards. That is why Pokemon will always have the stigma of being a kid's franchise. You can blame Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and Game Freak and Niantic for, for, this, for the decline of what's a great franchise. I always detect the Pikachu will be better in this game. Make sure to like, subscribe, and sell, and goodbye.